Hello, welcome to another Photonic Cleaning Technologies how-to video. This video demonstrates the two-step process of removing water spots from precision mounted optics such as refractor telescopes or cinematography objective lenses. Water is a polar solvent and the predominantly non-polar solvents in first contact may not remove polar solutes on your optic. In general, Polar solutes dissolve in polar solvents, and nonpolar solutes in nonpolar solvents. We use two techniques to dissolve and remove water spots. Before each process, remove as much contamination as possible using first contact polymer before tackling the water spots. We do this because the water spots may contain nonpolar solutes and the polymer might remove them, and if it doesn't, you want to remove contaminants that could potentially scratch your optic when tackling the spots. See our YouTube video for this initial first contact polymer application you just watched. To tackle the water spots, the first process we'll discuss is to wet cotton balls with pretreatment, which works well if you only have a couple spots. The cotton balls shouldn't be dripping wet. Squeeze out any excess pretreatment, then carefully place the cotton balls on the water spot. Don't scrub the cotton ball. Just leave it in place for about 10 minutes to let the pretreatment dissolve the spot. After removing the cotton ball, apply polymer over the area before the pretreatment dries. Gently mix the materials. If it looks gelled, add more polymer so the materials coalesce nicely. After a few minutes, embed chemical resistant mesh to use as a handle to peel the polymer once dry. After drying, grasp the mesh and peel the dry film. The next process is for heavily spotted optics. You will apply a wetted lint-free cloth over the optic with an o-ring at the perimeter of the optic. Start by applying polymer to one side of your o-ring then setting it in place before the polymer dries. When we utilize an o-ring to stop only polymer, as seen in our other videos, we allow it to fully dry. But with the pretreatment, you want to lay the o-ring in place before it's dry so it has better contact with the optic surface. This stops the pretreatment from flowing under the o-ring so it can't intrude into the tube assembly. Allow the coated o-ring to dry for about 10 minutes. Next, place your wetted lint-free cloth cut smaller than the o-ring onto the center of the optic. You can apply a few more pretreatment drops on the cloth to keep it wet if necessary. Just before removing the cloth, soak up any excess pretreatment that is pulled inside the o-ring. The polymer you will apply next will mix with pretreatment, but the more pretreatment that is present, the more polymer is needed to allow them to easily and fully mix. Remove the lint-free cloth and immediately apply polymer on the optic before the pretreatment dries. Apply at the center and work outwards. After waiting a few minutes, you can embed the chemical resistant mesh for a handle to peel the polymer once dry. Always apply the mesh at the perimeter or it will be difficult to get the peel started. The polymer will take longer to dry since it's pooled at the perimeter so wait at least an hour. Once dry, grasp the mesh and peel the polymer film. If you try to peel and see the mesh is stretching or tearing from the polymer, it's not fully dry. Thank you for watching.